Introducing EMC Unisphere, which dramatically simplifies storage management. Customers have been asking for a single tool that could manage all storage tasks across many arrays, whether it's Block or NAS, so SAN or NAS platforms from a single pane of glass from EMC. And EMC is delivering that with EMC Unisphere. Let's take a quick look at what this looks like. First thing that's important to note is EMC Unisphere uses Adobe Flex for a very rich end user experience that's still very lightweight and very fast. It can be accessed remotely from anything that's connected to the network without any client software, or it can be run on a Windows host using the off array tool, which basically gives you an even faster experience. If we take a look, this dashboard shows you at a single glance the entire state of multiple arrays that you have in your environment, whether they're EMC uh, unified block platforms or EMC unified NAS platforms, um, so, uh, and also regardless of protocol. It allows you to see across the entire environment uh, the environment's uh, capacity that's used and, and free, whether again it's block or NAS uh, use cases. Simple and easy. And then lastly, if we uh, uh, take a look at uh, some of the state here, it's easy to go in and find some detail for any one of the individual systems. The other piece of feedback that we got is that people wanted to have the UI be simple and easy but also customizable. So you can see here that everything can be sorted and you can change the look and feel about uh, which columns are shown and what sequence they're shown in. Uh, again, personalizing the UI for your particular use cases. You can hide columns as we just showed here. Now, if we want to take uh, an individual view into one of the systems, we can see here for an individual system all the detailed hardware. So these are all of the elements that make up an individual array. You can see the state of all of those elements. And it's also simple. In this case, we're using this for a, a NAS use case to handle everything from creating file systems, creating volumes, uh, managing uh, replication all from that single uh, individual view. So you can he see here all of the underlying volumes and you could create either new NAS, iSCSI, SIFs, um, uh, NFS use cases, um, all from that single screen. Again, on the same user interface, you can also manage the underlying uh, native block storage models. Um, so traditionally, uh, this would have required two separate UIs, and it's now been nicely integrated. So here we can see on an existing uh, Clarion, and this could be an integrated uh, Solera unit, or it could be a standalone Clarion. You can see a nice, simple dashboard that, once again, is very easy to customize. So you can uh, drag and drop and move things not only in the individual screens, but also in the dashboard, um, which is very, very useful because you can customize it to whatever you'd like to see. You can drag, drop, you can add additional views. Um, lots and lots of uh, flexibility and fluidity. Again, the goal here is simplicity and ease of use. Now from this dashboard, any one of these individual items that's got a, a usual kind of hyperlink format is actually uh, a linked. So for example here, if we go and we take a look at the LUNS view by clicking on the hyperlink there, you can see that it immediately brings us up to the contextual view for the LUNS for that particular array. You can group select them and you can assign them to hosts en masse. So again, incredible use, ease of use and flexibility that's all focused on a contextual view. Um, if we take a look, also that contextual idea applies to some very cool stuff about being able to see the hardware state. So for example, uh, for you know, here we're looking at this individual uh, Clarion array. Uh, and if we take a look at uh, particular detail, it'll actually bring up the individual elements and show you what they look like on the physical array itself. Uh, for example, here clicking on the uh, standby power supply, you can see uh, what, what it looks like and exactly the area that you're, uh, that you're highlighting. Now the other thing that's very cool is we've not only integrated the Solera and the Clarion's management UI, we've also added support for Recover Point. So if we uh, open up Recover Point, you can see the replication state, uh, how it's being used, how it's configured, uh, using this again without leaving the single pane of glass. It's simple, it's easy, it's very responsive. So for example here, if we want some detail, we can see here all of the uh, uh, recover point appliances, uh, their replication state, how much WAN bandwidth is being used. One other thing introduced in a Unisphere is the idea of context-based launch directly into support. Uh, we found that customers were using more and more online support and uh, self-service methodologies, and we really wanted to make that even easier to leverage. Every element of EMC's unified storage platforms is uh, end-user field replaceable, so uh, uh, customers were demanding more and more ability to be able to uh, get the help and the support that they needed without leaving the core application they used to manage that infrastructure. Being able to see and uh, drive towards the support uh, tools 
directly in context makes things, again, simpler and easier. So as an example, um, if we take a look, uh, this is the, uh, the support page that's built into the Unisphere UI. You can see there's how-tos and online community and software downloads all directly accessible from the GUI. And as an example, if we had a faulted drive, which we'll examine here, first things first, you can see that we've got a fault, uh, which would show up immediately on the dashboard. Uh, and if we expand out into that, you can see that it's this individual disk that's faulted. When you click on it, notice that the view shows you exactly which hardware device is actually faulted. Uh, you can do things even remotely like uh, blink LEDs and they properly show up as uh, uh, their state here in the UI. Um, and if we right click on this and we say replace disk, uh, as soon as you click that button, it immediately launches you into uh, the uh, USM tool, the Unisphere uh, Service Manager, which allows you to log in and then be able to easily run the wizards that are used to help our customers, whether they're replacing disks or any other uh, system element. So, for example, here it's saying uh, that we've done the analysis. Now it shows that, yes, indeed, the drive is faulted. Um, you know, you can basically either uh, launch a service request or save the details. What we think most customers will do will actually literally hit next, which launches them directly into the uh, ability to order a replacement drive, and it will arrive, and they can replace it themselves. Now, the next thing is, is that uh, all of these capabilities are capabilities that we'll be delivering in Q3 on Unisphere. But uh, we're not stopping there. Uh, Unisphere, the first version of Unisphere, is actually just a taste of the things to, to come in the future. So let's take a look at uh, a little bit of the future to come. Ultimately, people don't use storage to purely configure LUNs and file systems. They use it to deploy applications and use cases. And we think that ultimately, uh, what we need to do is we need to make it even simpler uh, to support those individual applications directly from within the management context. Again, this is going to be done in both directions, from the storage management layer on up, as well as from the application layer on down, through integration with things like vSphere, for example. So, for example here, if we wanted to create an, uh, an ex a set of storage to support Exchange, uh, we, give it a, we give it a name, we give it a description, and then uh, directly within that context, as opposed to getting asked core questions around storage, uh, the real question is, you know, how many mailboxes do you think you're going to need? What's the average mailbox size? Um, and since uh, we can leverage things like fully automated storage tiering, virtual pools, we can change everything on the on the go. So uh, it's very easy to adapt, and which means that the initial questions can be even easier. The other thing that's really cool is that you can see that uh, we can drive the protection policy, uh, how it wants to be snapshotted, backed up, um, and and replicated on a regular basis. So we've, we've taken the whole idea of uh, managing storage and instead are trying to make it easier for people to manage applications, which is ultimately the end of the day, which allows you to see a view of how you're using storage, not how we build it. Um, so here you can see the consumption across the entire uh, environment for this particular customer. So that's the EMC Unisphere, uh, which dramatically simplifies storage management, available from EMC in Q3 of 2010.